Okay, before we put the bushing in there, this is one we're going to use. Before we put that in there, uh, I may point something out to you. There is a groove in the bottom of that housing right there. When you put the bushing in there, it is actually open to the blank space. It's a drain back. If you have an excess of fuel that comes to the outside of your bushing, then it will accumulate inside this oil ring and then drain back into the that's what that's a drain back and that looks really good in there I am going to run some uh, I'm going to run some lacquer thinner through there just just kind of to clean it up a little bit planes down in there I was talking about earlier as you can see with a little lacquer thinner on the cloth I do have a couple of places right over there that's a little little stubborn but we'll get them off of there and all flanges anywhere a gasket would go will be cleaned up really clean do not have any paint on any areas where that a gasket would go or when four two pieces fits together and that's the beauty of these war brushes is you can get them all different sizes and you can get in there and clean any overspray that you would have see that that hole is perfectly clean that one is and I have already cleaned the flanges earlier and you can see that seat down in there that's that's where the crankshaft there should only be about from like a half a thousandth to one thousandths of play between this surface right here and the surface on the crankshaft and you can see where that one has been too tight where it made that ring wire ring around there and you adjust that by how thick this gasket is here and not everybody has uh, every chemical known to mankind in their shop. So this right here is nothing more than some Permatex. And I, I'm just going to use it for the slickness uh, just as a lubricant. Uh, just It's kind of one of them. And you see it, Yonder, it just coated all the way around. And I, I'm... I, I'm not going to get any in that oil groove down there to the point of making sure actually that's a gas drain back groove right down there that's going to be clean and I am just for lubric just kind of lubricator a little bit We'll put a little bit on there. Now this, we we are not gluing. Do not get me wrong that we're gluing this bushing in there. It is an interference fit. To install the bushing, we change this one out to this one. And the bushing with the radius right there and the radius up there, this that piece of crankshaft, that one goes out yonder. We're going to drill the hole for the fuel later. This one will go right down in yonder. Goes together. And we're going to pull it right up in there. It will not come to the, to the complete end down down on this end so this one right here is the one that goes right here this one goes here this one goes here this one goes here this one goes up here now this is how simple it is to put these to put these bushings in these engines it's 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 no big deal and you see what we got down in yonder and when that comes up there and bottoms out, we'll be done. So, this one uh, goes up in here. This one goes right there. This one goes right here. The impact goes right down here. And...
With this one, if I'm not mistaken, this bushing right here is a little bit shy. So in order to put these on this one, this is a multi-purpose tool. Then what I do is change over to that and snug her on up. And when you look down in there, and that was that permatex that had that stuck in there. But when you look down in there, can y'all see that? I'm going to take a little more of that there. Uh, where is that at? Just a little more dab of black or thinner. When you feel down in there with your finger, you should not feel any edge whatsoever. Uh, where that flange is and that's the reason that this larger piece of crankshaft it when that goes down and bottoms out against that crankcase you you will know that you are at the right depth this is where the proof of where if it'll work or not we're going to uh, before I do any filing on this right here, we're going to see if it'll fit. And I do still have to drill that hole down in there. But, uh-oh. I feel a little bit of interference right there, which I was kind of hoping it would be tight. You want it to be tight and not loose. But we let's just see, can we see? And I do immediately, in the light, the brightness of the light here you probably can't see it on the camera but you see that little brass highlight right there beside of that taper pin hole there's one and there's one and right there is another one on both sides of that it's on both sides of the taper pin hole so that means that that's high now what I'm going to do is take a small I'm going to take a file and ever so gently take that down you want to take the high places down instead of building up a low place now when you're doing stuff like this right here uh, kinda if you're not comfortable with it, you know, do do the do do the research on it. Just don't go at it uh, because you actually can ruin some stuff if you if you really don't know what you're doing. So it's better to uh, it's better to err and and I was I'm getting ready to err there if I don't find my other file.